Good evening. We bring you the latest in the world of sports. I'm Paolo Del Rosario. We give you the conversations you want to hear from your favorite icons and athletes. I'm Diego Dario. And in tonight's Game Plan. We've got a special PBA Finals edition of the shot list following the epic championship series between San Miguel and the TNT Tropangiga. We'll also get to know the young and hungry Ateneo Fudgy Bar Squad. And we'll list down the players to watch in the 2022 Spiker Surf Open Conference. Buckle up sports fans, let's get in the game. After a thrilling back and forth final series in the PBA Philippine Cup, it's time to give out some special awards with a brand new edition of the Shot List. I'm not even going to talk about the photo anymore. Mikey, welcome back to the show. Uh, first of all, what a fun final before we even go into yung uh, Shot List mo. Um, I don't know what percentage mo base sa mga It's been high. It's been high. Very high. Okay. He called it game five was going to TNT and it did. The closest was yeah. when I said that RR Pogoy was going to be limited to 15. He had 14 at okay. the end of the third. So, ako, na impress ako. Na impress ako when he first. said that Marshall Lasseter would have at least 15 and then yeah, I think 18, he scored 18. And he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so far, so good. Pero ito naman, iba yung shot list natin dito kasi Basically, awards night to mm -hmm. ni Mikey Reyes. Not from the PBA, mind you. Yeah. Hindi po ito official because no one in their right mind would want to sponsor <laughs> this particular segment. So, Mikey, let us start with this one. Mr. Forgot How Old He Is. Sino to? Well, there were two guys mm -hmm. who were actually nominated for this award. Ooh. It was Kelly Williams and Jason Castro. Ah, and the winner it is. It the to? winner is Jason Castro. We all know that 30 point crazy, performance. Crazy. It was crazy. I mean, I was covering that game on, in smart, on smart, and you know this, Diego. Sometimes you just look back, you just watch, and just appreciate. Mm -hmm. We've been a fan of his for the longest time, a decade yep. or so, and he just kept on delivering the big baskets and the five points out of the eight, eight. in the fourth. Came from Jason Castro. Alam mo nung nanonood ako, grabe. I thought it was, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah. Grabe. grabe. Crazy. No. Turn he, back the clock. He, he forgot. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> he forgot that he it forgot. was 2022, he right? He forgot like, that he was 36 and crazy. he just earned a great extension. So Yeah. yeah it's We're so, gonna see until 39. Well, we'll, we'll see, right? Minimum. Minimum, yeah. 39. minimum. Yeah. minimum 39. Yeah. Minimum. So right now, the next award, Jags, I want you to introduce it because I want an explanation Ooh. from... Uh, uh, Mikey, okay. Okay. Mikey, probably 100% in his shot list right now. Baka yeah. ito yung first list niya. Let's see. Mr. Early Game. Ah. Who okay. does it belong to, Mikey? I will give you mm -hmm. one good guess on who Mr. <laughs> Early Game is. <laughs> Ba, is she ba yung uh, so maaga sa, sa smart na nito ko? Lucio? Kung sa Moa? O ano ba to? First quarter. Oh, mm -hmm. oh my goodness. I'm, I mean, come on. Okay. We all play um, MOBAs and there are guys whom you rely on early, early game. Early game. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that they can't, you know, deliver late game, but at least in the finals, in game one, he showed out 21 points. And then, you know, the injury happened. You know, we can't really fully blame this on Mikey, but still, in game seven, he had 17 in the first quarter. And he finished with what? 19? 22. 22. Five 22. points in the second So, half. ito, Mr. Early Game ni Mikey is Mikey. Mikey Williams, of course, uh, syempre, we all know he's a dynamite scorer. But I guess this just goes to show you na, I mean, natin, you're disappointed by the output. Not Because, sa totoo lang, kung total yun, yeah. it'll be okay, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's a decent number. Mm -hmm. But 17 in the first and the mm -hmm. rest... A mm -hmm. bit uh, disappointing. And it's not a question of his talent. I think he just needs to get used to the game. Yeah. Being in those moments in mm -hmm. a PBA final series, mm -hmm. his first finals, they were in a bubble. So you really can't compare. So it's not a question of can he deliver. Oh, he wait. can, but he just has to. This, this series had to happen. Yeah. For him to take the next step. Did you think though that it was San Miguel's defense, or was he a little bit, you know, passive in that second half? I feel like he always just settles for jumpers. Mm -hmm. You have to commend mm. the defense, mm. but sometimes you gotta be like a Stanley Pringle, uh, Terence Romeo. You have to keep attacking. You cannot you just learn settle from on those breakdowns. Yeah. yeah, exactly, Jason Castro. So right now, uh, the next one we're gonna go to here. Maraming choices, eh. Mister Breakout Star is named the award. Of course, maraming first-time winners. 
uh, San Miguel beer men, and that's what the category is. But the one who stood up uh, for you is. When you talk about San Miguel, you talk about the new ones, Jericho Cruz, Vic Manuel, CJ Perez, yep. you rarely talk about Simon and Ciso. And I always said this during the finals. Siya yung last one, bro. I mean, basketball term, alam mo yan. Yes. In a five, si Simon nga yung parang, sige, siya na lang patirahin nyo. Mm -hmm. Kasi may June, Mar, Vic, obviously Marsha is there. But he kept making shot after shot. And I love the adjustment of Coach Leo, putting him at the two. Mm -hmm. because then he can just focus on scoring. So, I said this during the coverage, I'm not saying he's as good as Alex Kabagnot, but I'm saying, yun yung parang ginawa siyang points guard ni Coach yeah. mm -hmm. You know, I remember talking about Simon and Ciso with some of the guys here. Yeah. I think it was Paolo also. Mike, do you think that, you know, Simon was kind of being passive, trying to set up his teammates at the start, but that was not his, game. Not his game. And then he finally found it in the finals. Do you, do you agree? Well, he's a points guard. You mm -hmm. have to leave it at that. And when you forget that you're a points guard and you try... He tried to blend in. Mm -hmm. He tried to, you know, defer a little. Hey, he's a powerhouse too, eh? yes. First time you're in the powerhouse team. He came from Blackwater. But then when Coach Leo told him, no, we need you to score. No Terrence. No Chris Ross. So yep. He got the confidence and rolled with it. Up next, uh, kung may Mr. Early Game tayo, Jakes. May Mr. Late, Late Game, game. tayo. And, uh, I, I believe there were also a few candidates for this mm -hmm. one. Because grabe yung pinakita nila. Uh, honestly, I want an individual award for Junmar Pajardo's Step Back 3. <laughs> uh, that's own award. But then, this is different. Who is your Mr. Late Game? He did it twice this this series. In Game 3. Was that the Rob Yerndon game? Yeah, Game yeah. 3 in MOA. Chris Ross, you look at his stats. They're not eye pop. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not gonna come at you and say, "Oh, grabi ginilaro ni Chris Ross." But every time during the late game, the fourth quarter, the important moments, and we all remember that game seven, last three minutes, last four minutes, where he called night night, put it to bed. So he will not really come at you. Because he's simply injured din siya in yeah. the series. I mean, he came off an injury. But late game, you can still really rely yep. on Chris Ross, and he does things that he doesn't usually do. He yeah. can shoot, but he doesn't really shoot that far. Bakit pag late game biglang nagkakakumpiyan? Honestly, Game 7, they gotta change the scouting report when it's Chris Ross. <laughs> and for your last award, Mikes, it's Mr. If You Can't Beat Them, Join Them. Who is this? <laughs> Napaka story-based yung yeah. award na to, ha? Hindi to performance-based, pero life story-based. That award goes to... I mean, we all love him. I love Vic, Vic Manuel. I love the muscle man. And he lost to, the fa to SMB in the finals, I think, thrice total. Yeah. And he lost to the 0-3 advantage, 3-0 mm -hmm. advantage. Nila. But hey, he finally found his way to SMB. He got a championship. And this is not even a shot at Vic Manuel. That's how life goes sometimes. Yep. He was picked off through trades. It wasn't really a free agency. So, you know, I'm happy for Vic Manuel. Yeah, I mean, I would say that it was a KD move, but then he didn't. Really he didn't. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he didn't. He to accept all worked out. Yep. Mikey, thank you uh, Again, congratulations on your high shooting percentage. I am Buti waiting. Dito, no? dito lang, I no? am <laughs> waiting for the average to regress to the mean mm -hmm. in terms of uh, what will happen in the future. But Mikey, thank you. Salamat. We'll see you again next season. Thank Thanks, you for Mikey. Having, as always. And after the break, we'll speak to the fresh faces of the Spikers turf, the Ateneo Fudgy Bar team. Stay tuned. You're watching the game.
Welcome back to the game. The Ateneo Fudgy Bar is just one of the three collegiate teams that have joined the Spikers turf. So let's get to know the young and hungry squad as we welcome Lance De Castro, Amil Pancino, Gian Salarzon, and Coach Timmy Santo Tomas. Eagles or Fudgy Bar, uh, welcome to the game. <laughs> All right, so guys, first of all, thank you very much for coming over. Uh, Coach, I'll start with you because, of course, it's a lot of team. Yo. It's uh, mm -hmm. different from the Ateneo teams that we've seen in Spygar's yeah. turf. Uh, a lot of them are not familiar to the wider volleyball public. Yeah. Can you describe uh, this team, where they're at in their development, and of uh, your assessment of what we've seen mm -hmm. in the Spikers turf so far? Um, so far, I think the team we have like two months ago. So, mm -hmm. But most of, uh, most of the players arrived around um, mid-July. So, as in ngayon, nagkakapaan pa kami kung yeah. paano gumalaw yes. yung isa't isa. Um, most of the players are also learning pa the system kung paano, uh, paano yung laro namin sa Ateneo. And also, on my end, uh, I'm also trying to uh, learn from them mm -hmm. kung ano pa yung mga uh, kayang, kung ano pa yung mga kaya nilang gawin sa loob yeah. ng court. So, at this point, medyo nagkakapaan pa kami mm. lahat. So, growth mindset talaga as we go yes. on to the season. But when um, you talk about your team captain, si Lance, kamusta yes. naman yung experience Gro going up against, you know, older, more experienced players? Um, kamusta naman yun in terms of your development? Um, I think it's really a good exposure, especially for the team. Mm -hmm. Like, as Coach said, our team is very young. So, like going up against, like, com like competing against super veteran teams mm -hmm. po, it's like a... Uh, Learning opportunity for us That's right. also, para like we can bring mm. sa UAP this season. Yeah, because of course, mga kaich man yung mga kalaban yes. sa UAP. <laughs> yeah. Pero uh, Amil, of course, you average around 14 points per game, and at the same time, uh, representing Ateneo sa beach volleyball. Uh, it's a completely different ball game when it comes yep. to beach and indoor. We've heard that a lot. I, I'm assuming you move like a crab on the beach. But <laughs> uh, <pero>, uh, <laughs> when you look at the when you look at yung competition yung what you're trying to learn. What do you think is a the biggest discovery you've made about this team so far, three games into your conference ahead? Um, for me personally, ang gusto ko lang matutunan is yung communication sa game. Mm -hmm. Kasi yun talaga pinaka-important. Kasi mm -hmm. magsasalita sa court, like, paano gawin to, paano gawin yan, para magkakaisa yung team. Mm -hmm. And we go on to Gian, you know, your averages here in Spikers Turf, uh, double digits, 10.3 points per game. Ikaw, kamusta naman yung experience mo? Sabi ni Coach, you guys are getting used to each other, playing with each other, but sa tingin mo, paano to makakatulong as we go along, uh, sa, especially sa UAP season when it when that comes? Siguro sa mga game namin ngayon, um, tinitake namin to as an um, um, tawag dito? Um, opportunity, opportunity mm -hmm. para mag mag gel kami as a That's team right. and oh. kasi parang most of us bago lang sa team. Mm -hmm. Kaya parang kailangan pa, kailangan pa namin ng chemistry sa team. Thank you Lance for the set there. Uh, <laughs> making sure that they got the message yeah. across. <laughs> Pero Lance, uh, you know, you look at this group when we mentioned they're young. Yeah. Uh, you want to be together for a couple of months. At uh, we all know that uh, full slate of UAP is coming back. And I'm sure you all have a, uh, your eyes set on it. Kano ka importante yung experience nyo dito and learning and discovering what you can and cannot do and of course uh, where you want to end up. Um, of course, we're aiming like to get the championship this year, season 85. But as we like play sa competition nato sa Spiker Street, um, maraming coming dapat like we will able to know the lapses mm -hmm. during the games. And I think that's one of the things that we need to like. Um, improve on. Mm -hmm. And Lance, you mentioned you know the lapses that you guys have to work on, improve on. Coach, you personally as a coach, ano yung nakikita mo na you guys can improve on pa as you move along dito sa season na to? Coach, you can lecture them right now. Oh, uh, pwede. Uh, pwede. Uh, pwede. Oh. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> kaya kaya na nangyari ng mga past few games namin, um, sasabi ko naman sa kanila that your talent can only bring you mm -hmm. at a certain point. Pero kailangan nila ng confidence sila sa sarili nila. Kasi uh, for the past few games, makita namin, uh, nakita naman ng mga uh, bata, naramdaman din nila na parang uh, they are doubting their, uh, themselves. Mm -hmm. So parang inisyo sa panila, kaya ko ba ito? Mm -hmm. uh, kaya ko bang gawin ito? So siguro, uh, dahil na rin yung pressure ngayon, kasi um, sinasabi sa kanila, iba yung feeling pag naglalaro ka lang sa training, iba That's yung right. tune-up game. But uh, pag naglalaro ka ngayon, ngayon sa Spiker Surf, um, parang pressured ka to get that one win eh. Mm -hmm. So parang, for us, sobrang laking bagay nga ito na as early as now, kahit bago kami, bago yung team namin, nakakaramdam sila ng gantong pressure. 
kasi it will only uh, it will only uh, push them to be better and lalo na coming uh, this coming UAP um masana na sila na mayroong mga gantong uh, mga tao na nanonood sa iyo at yeah. mm-hmm. nagje-cheer sa iyo or nagje-jeer sa iyo during mm-hmm. the game so uh, malaking bagay yon may nagje-jeer ba sa inyo um, <laughs> Siguro. <laughs> part of the game. All right, part, oh, of, the part, game, of, part the of the game. Part of the game. Oh, oh, oh true. Uh, Gian, you look at your yung experience ninyo and uh, you're all learning about each other in galaw ninyo. Mm. And of course, uh, what it takes to win sa competition na to. Uh, you personally, ano yung pinakamalaking discovery mo uh, in terms of your teammates, in terms of mm-hmm. yung experience ninyo? Uh, siguro yung pinakamalaking discovery ko is parang uh, marami pang kailangan i-improve sa Akin and sa team siguro. Uh, mm-hmm. Pero every day we work hard. We work out naman namin sa every training. Pinagawa uh, namin nila lahat para mapanalo ng ibang mga games namin. And of course, uh, we wanted to ask uh, Amil more about, uh, siempre the way that the team is functioning. But then we're out of time at the moment. And uh, but then for those wondering where you can catch Ateneo, you can catch them. On Saturday, when they take on uh, Army Katinko and looking for their first win, uh, gentlemen, Marami Salama, thank you very much thank for coming on. Thank and, you. And uh, hopefully, we get to see more of you soon. And Siguro, if you make it a bit further than expected, we might have you back on again. Thank you. And Fudgy Bar. Oh, and extra fun. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> for sure. We're <laughs> keeping it on the Tara Flex because after the break, we'll list down the players to watch in the 2022 Spiker Surf Open Conference. Stay tuned. You're watching the game. back to the game. Men's volleyball is definitely back with highlight reels stacking up in the Spikers Turf 2022 Open Conference. Now tonight, 
making his debut as a volleyball analyst, the renowned coach, James Castillo, yes, will share his list of players to watch out for in the 2022 Open Conference. Coach Babes, welcome to the game. Hello Thank you, there. Coach. Hello Hello there. there. Napaka professional ni Coach. Coach is clipboard pa siya. <laughs> I like it. Ready to give us all the lectures we need. So, you have a list here of must-watch players. Anong yeah. criteria mo? Because, syempre, mm -hmm. everyone's curious to see how your mind works. Wow. <laughs> Mahirap atang tapatan yun. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, I made a list, no? Mm -hmm. As per request, no? Mm -hmm. So, uh, they asked for me uh, three lists of mm -hmm. three categories. Mm -hmm. uh, dark Horse, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Uh, the new, uh, new, new, new face. New yeah. face yeah. Yeah. And... The Game Changer. Game changer. Ooh, so the Game Changer. Interesting. Oh, kasi the game to eh. So, kailangan Game Changer. Okay, okay. Alright, like so... <laughs> no, that was really corny. Uh, but coach, uh, siyempre, let's start off first with your Dark Horse player. Ano yung rubrics mo dito? What were you considering mm. when you named mm. them? Like, how do you know one is a Dark Horse yes, player? Yes, exactly. Right? Alright, so a Dark Horse is somebody who is a competitor na hindi siya famous or hindi siya popular. Mm -hmm. But somehow, giving out the goods. Mm -hmm. you know? It may not be a win, mm -hmm. pero makikita mo sa performances niya during the game or during a set, merong ilalabas. Mm -hmm. So for me, can I say it now? Yeah, yep. you say it. Go so visit. it's Camposano. Edward. Edward Camposano from yeah. Signal. What makes him special? Well, one, athletically. No, physically, 6'3". Yeah. Katapat lang niya si Mark Espejo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no? And not not many people know na nakita ko tong batang to during high school. So mm -hmm. we, when I was in NU, I was with the, the girls team and he was nasa kabilang side lang siya, UE, performing as the best spiker ng liga mm -hmm. all throughout. And remember, UE had nine gold medals. Yes. Wow. No? Nine gold medals dun sa, sa high school yun. And I was looking forward to this guy mm -hmm. when he moved up to college. Mm -hmm. yeah. no? Pero somehow, medyo na derail siya. Mm -hmm. And now I saw him here sa, ano, sa ating uh, spiker's turf. Mm -hmm. So para sa akin, and I saw, when I reviewed his game, nakita ko andun pa rin yung power, andun pa rin yung yep. speed. Yeah. No? So I think if this guy is given more time <laughs> and uh, more nudge mm -hmm. from the coaches, I think this guy can be probably the, be the next coach, You actually mentioned na napanood mo na siya back in high school. Ano yung nakita mo sa development niya now that makes him a very effective player for Signal? Well, he didn't lose the power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, andun pa rin ang speed, mm -hmm. tumangkad pa siya lalo. Yep. No? Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, I remember this guy went to NU eh, for uh, two years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And nakita ko na nahubog yung kanyang, you know, how, how he has to look at the game yep. from high school, move up, at makita niya yung angles and geometry of the yeah. game. So nakita ko na eh, when he was practicing. Yun yung nakita ko andun pa rin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I don't know what's happening with him right now mm -hmm. in yeah. terms of mentally, but He's that's got always, the wares. That's a big yeah. question. Yeah. Well, let's He's move on the to the next item on your list, Coach. Yeah. The new face of, you know, <laughs> the Spiker to. Surf. New face oh. or rookie, you know? Who's the one that excites coach? you? Yeah. Desquitado. Yes. Mm. So, for those who are wondering, and he is not tall by any means. That's correct. But he flies. That's right. So, Athletic. tell us what makes him so special. Okay, first word that comes into my mind when I watch him, unflinching. Mm. Makikita mo yung, I mean, you are going against the best of the best. Hindi lang to magaling ngayon, but seasoned for the past few years. Yep. Nagpa-perform, re reliable. Hindi siya nagpa-flinch, no? Mm -hmm. Tinutulak siya sa pader, pero hindi nagpa-flinch yung guy. So I like that. As a young kid on the block, mm -hmm. kailangan meron ka nun eh, confidence, right? Yeah. And he has it. No? Yeah, he has it. He goes up against guys that he's watched on TV. That's correct. And it feels like he has that mentality for it, for That's sure. Right. And we're very excited for mm -hmm. his development. That's for sure. Now, for the next item on your list, Coach, the Game Changer. How can you say that one is a Game Changer, Coach? All right. Uh, a Game Changer is somebody, for me, mm -hmm. you know, who puts something new in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, something different a different angle, a different role or additional role that he plays in the game that I saw in Retamar. Mm -hmm. Josh Retamar from Santa Elena. And uh, of course, uh, a few people who are especially into men's volleyball mm -hmm. know a bit about Josh Retamar. That's right. But can you explain to us why you feel that out of all the stars, chain game changer now? Yes. And you, we all know, performer talaga yan, no? Yep. Uh, won a few goals, won a lot of goals in the UAP. But now, it's the same but not so. Mm. Because right now, the lineup, wala na doon yung mga veterano ni Retamar. No? Retamar is the setter and he's setting for basically 
relatively a younger squad of spikers. Yeah. yeah. Nakikita ko yung games niya, ang daming errors. If you look at the point ratio niya, the points won and points lost, marami silang points but ang dami ring lost points. If you compare it to Signal, makikita mo yung pagkabiterano nila sa team. Yes. At 150 points, 118 lang ang loss nila. Yeah. No? Sa enyo hindi mataas. Nagpaikot siya ng players, pinaikot niya yung mga spikers niya. Not only that, that he's giving out a lot of angles in the attack, setting up the players, you know, kami mga coaches, we, we have a, uh, a system that we call a triangle yeah. system in the attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's the only setter, not the only setter, but he's one of the setter who consistently makes the back row attack mm -hmm. a permanent setup. No? Okay. It's not like because kailangan lang, you know, the situation, as for it, hindi, ito talagang part ng system niya. Mm -hmm. Second, he also leads the offense block. If you review NU right now, I probably would wouldn't be surprised because Sila ang number one blocking team, mm -hmm. and he is the un, 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 uh, uns, uh, unsung hero sa, sa blocking. Hindi lang siya offensive, defense. but aggressive siya sa defense, making their front line defense really work. Well, you know that just goes to show us why you think he's a game changer, Pedro Coach. Yeah. I just want to tell all our viewers here right now that the Coach was actually talking to us before. He says he hasn't really scouted the men's game <laughs> much prior to this. Mm -hmm. So you can only imagine his thoughts uh, as this league goes on and he gets more knowledge. Coach, maraming salamat. Thank you, you, you very much. You. This could be a podcast. We could yep. talk for hours on this. Love the but then uh, coach. we only have a few minutes. Pero Coach, maraming salamat. We thank you for having me. Thank, thank you, you Coach. Me. And thank you for joining us. I'm Diego Dario. Catch us weeknights here on One News, One Sports, and One Sports Plus. I'm Paolo Del Rosario, and this has been The Game.